Hi, it's Craig Beals. We're going to look at dimensional analysis. This is the introduction to dimensional analysis, and we're going to start off with something called the metric ladder. Metric ladder is just one way to sort of organize um, the prefixes in metrics and start to memorize them so that you can easily convert between units in metrics. We will then take this metric ladder and I will show you how to do dimensional analysis and how to use the metric ladder to better understand metrics and dimensional analysis. So, what is the metric ladder? The metric ladder is just a way, as I mentioned, to organize metric prefixes. So I'm going to start off with the base unit. I'll just write unit in and I'm going to work my way up the ladder. So there's many different ways to learn the metric ladder. This is the one that I've found to be easiest in my class, especially when you're going to use the metric ladder to start learning how to do dimensional analysis. So working our way up, I'm going to say that one deca, the prefix deca, is equal to 10 of the base unit. So maybe that's decameter. One decameter is equal to 10 meters. Working my way up even further, we've got one hecto is equal to 100 of the base unit. So you're going to start to see when we change this, it changes our um, suffix. So we have hectogram or decaliter. And up at the top, we have kilo and that's 1,000 of the base unit. Now, this ladder does go up much higher. I'm going to stop here. We'll also just learn the first three going down um, just as an introduction. These are the basic ones that you really need to have a handle on. As we go down, we run into deci, and that's equal to one-tenth of the base unit. And I don't like to use fractions in this. I'll show you why when we get to dimensional analysis. But if you use 0.1 instead of fractions, like 1 tenth, it works out much easier, and then you don't have to deal with fractions when you start to do the math. Below that, we have centi, as in 1 centi is equal to 1 hundredth of the unit. And finally, down here, we have milli, as in uh, 1 milligram is equal to 1 thousandth of a gram. So, I have written this out, or typed it out, so it's a little more legible than my handwriting. You can see we've got the same thing here. We've got the base unit working our way up the ladder, deca, hecto, and kilo working our way down. We have deci, centi, and milli. Now, what if we're looking at length? When we use length in metric, the base unit becomes meters. So if we look at the metric ladder, we've got our base unit down here. We need to change our base unit, and I'm just going to scribble on this, and change this to meters. When I do that, it changes everything on my ladder. So now I have one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, and or kilometer, one hectometer is equal to 100 meters. One decameter is equal to 10 meters. And so on and so forth, all the way down the line. All of these change to meter, and all of these change to meter. I've written that out again to make it a little more legible, so you can see right here. So, again, when we start to memorize the metric ladder, we don't have to memorize um, all of these terms for units of length in meters. We also don't have to memorize the ones for um, liters or for grams, but I'll show you those anyway just to see how this metric ladder works for all of them. So if we're dealing with volume and we're dealing with liters, then again, just like we did before, all we would have to do is change out this base unit and we're going to put liters here. It would become one kiloliter and one thousand liters. Same would happen here and here, here and here, and all the way down to the bottom. I'll fill in milliliter down here at the bottom just to show you, um, but I'm not going to write all of these in, sorry about the writing, because I've got it right here to show you once again.
So if you remember the metric ladder with the prefixes, then it works for mass, volume, and for length, like I showed you previously. So in mass, we're dealing with grams. All we'd have to do is, again, change this base unit. And at this point, you don't even have to change it. You'll just become familiar with it. We can change this to grams. This becomes kilogram. And this becomes 1,000 grams. So one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. One hectogram is equal to 100 grams. One decagram is equal to 10 grams. One decigram is equal to one-tenth of a gram or 0.1 grams. One centigram is equal to 0 0.01 grams. And one milligram is equal to 0 0.001 grams or one-thousandth of a gram. Here's the chart again for grams. So how do I remember this? There's any number of mnemonic devices that I've heard over the years to remember this, the uh, metric ladder. And I think the easiest one, the one that uh, most people tend to understand and memorize the best is this. It is King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. Now what does that mean? The king is kilo, Henry hecto died is deca, drinking deci chocolate centi and milk is milli. So what values go with those? Again, kilo is a thousand, hecto 100, deca 10, deci is one tenth or point one, centi point zero one, and milli point zero zero one. So let me go back there real quick. King Henry died drinking chocolate milk is an easy way to remember the order of this metric ladder. So there's our metric ladder. How do you use the metric ladder? Um, I'm going to show you how to use it in dimensional analysis. I find a lot of times in metrics people try to move the decimal this way and move the decimal that way and they're not sure how far to move it or which way to move it and people make big mistakes when they start moving decimals around. I'm going to show you a foolproof way or mostly foolproof way um, in using dimensional analysis. So this is very simple math to help convert to where you will hopefully never get any of those metric conversions wrong again. I'll show you that in the video Dimensional Analysis Number 2, Metric Conversions. So look for that one.